What is up everybody? This is Opt here and welcome to Poppy Playtime. So, I'm very interested in this new generally Mexico horror game and people you know, like the Mexico horror games you know, like back in the old um, games, like Fighters Freddy's, um, Benic Machine, this one is a little bit different on those two sides because we're exploring the O'Bannon Old Factory. So here we go. Let's press play and see what I mean. Right, chapter one, a tight squeeze. As an ex-employee of Playtime Co., you finally returned to the factory for many years after for everybody within disappeared. All right, let's see what they had to offer. Oh, VHS tape. You are about to see the most incredible doll ever invented. Her name is Poppy, and she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She True. is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe? Just watch. Yeah, let me show you. as lovable as a real girl and she talks like one too hi my name is poppy i love you can you help me polish my shoes why of course poppy just like a real girl poppy always wants to look her best perfect thank you her hair is sturdy and won't come out when you brush it and smells just like a poppy flower is there anything else you'd like to say poppy i'm a real girl just like you. Don't What's say the time? that. Playtime! And if you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours at just $2.99 a person. An entire hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. What are you waiting for? Come visit the factory. We can't... Oh, what happened? So that's her, her very own room. Everyone within disappeared, find a flower. Okay. Look at that. We can free roam this place. Pretty nice. Press E to open doors. Alright. Got Boogie Bot. Boogie Bot has a merchandise instead. Got Boogie Bot. Candy Cat. We got the the infamous Huggy Wuggy. Alright. Be healthy like Brian. I do he eat healthy. What's this? Press it over here, though. Hi, my name is Leif Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. For example, mm -hmm. This facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, will turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. And that's one of the more tame aspects of our security system. No spoilers. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. Yeah. We're here, but we can't... But we're gonna know what's going on here. But what else? But yeah, but what else did we got ourselves into? But the question is, like I said, what else we got ourselves we got ourselves into? We got a, got a code uh, to open this door. Um, I had to go back. Like I remember 
the train one. The train color code. So it's right here. Green, pink, yellow, red. Green, pink, yellow. Green, pink, yellow, red. Green, pink, yellow, red. Okay. Pink, yellow, red. A freaking fly. Don't like that. Alright. Pop it in there here. And let's see. The grab pack. Tie in the straps. Whole boat cannons. Pull trigger to fire. Pull again to re to retract. Pull again to grip it into object. Only fire at small objects slash handles. Do not fire the co-worker. Oh no, his head might hurt. Ouch. Wire is conductive, use it for rewiring. Thank you. Use your grab pack responsibility. What's the time? It's playtime! Of course it is, silly! Alright, here we go. Got this one. Oh, we can't hold it though. Alright. Let's enter. Can I enter in here? I'm supposed to enter in here though. Come on. Can I jump? Okay. Jumping is a good idea. There we go. Oh, hey, Huggy. High five? What? Yeah, give me a high five. Right? Um, Huggy Wuggy 1984. Playtime Co. has designed hundreds of district toys, but none connect with the people more than that of Huggy Wuggy. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, Aim to create a toy which it would be always as always forever true. Playtime's co 14 step process is creating the most lifelike toys was a success. All right, testing room innovation. We have right here. You can't go that way. What to do is go right here. Uh oh. What's that? You got the key. May I have it? Come on. Give me it. Ah, yay. That could go to the power. You better not move. Yeah, he's not gonna move. Grab to to divert power. All right. Okay, what else we can do with this one? Right here. Oh, that you know charges up this one. The panels. Okay, I cannot go that way because there's a uh, there's this one. Standing in the way. Right. That's gonna do it. We did it. Huzzah. Yo, oh my god, he freaking disappeared. 
Well, let's open this up. Here we go. What the? There's a freaking hand. Let's go over here. Okay. So this is the orange tape. Um. We can't find the orange tape. Huggy says, remember to take breaks. Oh, we found this one. What? No. Alright. So we can put this one right here. Oh, each attract. Okay, so there's cappies. There's a green one. Handle with care. Boogie Bot always says. Or Boogie Bot once says, Handle with care. There's a baby version of that. It's a white run, a red one, I found. And now all I need is the yellow one, which is right here. Nice. Can pull that. Can we find um the orange tape somewhere? Pretty sure we can find that. There's nothing over there. Yeah, we cannot find the orange tape for that. I, yeah, I've been looking around for everywhere, but still hasn't had the orange tape. Right. Oh, this is the red hand. The red hand glove. Come on. Come to me. Oh, so drop down like that. Right. We got a red hand. Let's go. Right, here we go. Alright, so right hand is for the left glove. Okay. Can we press crouch or shift? Control? Oh, control. Alright. What's this supposed to mean? Glad grab to complete the circuits. Okay. Okay, I mess it up. That's how I can do that. Here.
What? That doesn't even really work. Oh, it's to do right here. All right. Okay. I'm with you. And go. Noise. Finally figure it out. Now what? You need that alarm would scare me off. Nah. We're here. Oh, we're in the make a friend. Make a friend? Sounds pretty weird. Make a friend 1960. Our founder, L Elliot Lugwood, was a visionary. He set the stage for all Playtime Co.'s greatest feats to make a friend machine one of the great creative impressive in advance. It is solely responsible for every nearly Playtime Co. toy soul and a mark to this day. All it needs is to feed the proper pairs and then and and oh my goodness and 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 it will then point then paint. Assemble and do quality expectation on the toy all of its own. Gone all the need for a complex storing or brack or the back breaking labor. This machine can do it all and more. This was very this was the first time they invented before Huggy Wuggy. Right. Nobody leaves without a toy. Fostering happiness. Adopt an orphan today. An orphanage. So the orphans or kids. I mean, it kind of makes sense after all. Oh, it's a pink tape. Oh, put this one. Nice. We can pull it because because um because you gave me strength. I know that's you know definitely a song that kind of you know exists pretty much. Um, all right, so how can I do this? How can I go over here to over here? That's not here. Over here. Yeah. All right. Okay, that's not how you do that. Or that's not how I do that. Can it's one kind of move a little bit? Uh, cannot. I think this is the farthest thing I can go. But honestly, if I put this one right over here, like right over here, there. All right, so now I can do it with this one. With the help of my blue little glove hand, I can conquer anything.
Okay, not like that. So... Mm, this might be a little bit difficult because... If I could go, like, right here, then go over here, then go around it, then go right again and go to the left around it... Okay, this might be so difficult for me at least because I just don't like puzzles, but not in a way they are. Like, literally. But I know that Poppy Playtime, you know, really doesn't annoy me as at least. Okay, it doesn't do that. Oh, we can do that. Alright. Come on! Come on! Stop! to do this I can't no so the reason why I take off my new glasses is because my left ear I mean my right ear is hurting right now I know you guys can see my left ear is hurting but somehow it's my left my right ear. So yeah. Go on it. Oh no, oh man. Yep, I hurt my back, at least. My back! Finally, bada boom, bada bang. All right, so we can power on the machine. Let's do this. There. Well, that should do it. Alright. I really thought the way you followed me with your very own eyes. This is how they make toys. Oh, there you go. That's how make toys make. Give me that. And I'll put this run right here. Here we go. Oh no. Oh, we can go to the vents. Here we go. Oh no. He's actually here. Run! Wait, what? Oh, there. I should have keep going. That isn't permanent. Get up. 
All right. Narrator, whoever you guys talked about. Here we go. Ouch! Yeah, take that. All right, so in that room, so that's Poppy's room. We got this tape right here. Get it. So it connects to this one. So the theory is that those kids were just actually turned into one of those um, toys. I think that might be the case. Oh, there's a music box. There's a pillow. Oh my god, Poppy's just trapped in her cage. Alice is to save her. Because why not? You opened my case. Yeah, I did. That's it. Okay, yeah, I got a feeling that chapter one, it's just pretty much okay. I'll say that. Because, um,. For the start of the mostly main, um, usual, like, players could actually, you know, enter the abandoned, uh, park, or the abandoned toy factory, or the abandoned, um, the studio from Benny Machine. Um, I definitely, you know, really much interested in those types of, of actual, um, of these new magical horror games. 
like I really do think that um like the first the more chapters that we progress through the better that it's become and the gameplay will become more um um like actually fun as it goes on because this one it's all right it's not you know one of the great chapters to start off with and uh yeah so that's gonna do for Poppy Playtime Chapter 1. So I'll be doing, you know, chapter 2 and 3 because I'm very interested in this one and I'm definitely, you know, glad that uh I'm able to see a lot of YouTubers play this one because I never experienced it myself at first because I thought that game this game kinda sucked at first because it wasn't not, you know, used to, you know, being an actual a mascot horror game because chapter one like it has you know involves you know a lot of puzzles that may or may not been you know been easy but sometimes it gets you know very much difficult but you know like I said the more chapters I go the less difficult it becomes and therefore I'll have fun with it so uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for Poppy Playtime. Um, if you guys really enjoyed this one, if you did, leave, leave a like so I have to play first and take a chance. Join my my Discord to become a Deck Squad. Join my Patreon to get early access to my new content with real upload or not. Follow my Twitch, aka X, and follow my Twitter. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.